Hi guys, okay, working on this uh, 2006 Nissan X-Trail this morning. Going to be replacing the crankshaft position sensor. Uh, so, just want to talk about it first. If you want to skip ahead to me actually doing it, that's fine. But, uh, so some symptoms of why that could be failing. Um, basically for us, it was, uh, you'd be just driving down the road and it would, it would quickly stall and then start again. Uh, within like a second or so and then sometimes after you've been driving for a bit and it's also summer right now So it, it, there can be some hot days uh, You'd park it and then it wouldn't start or it would be a hard to start it back up um, And then I, obviously you get the check engine light and then I was getting the code uh, for uh, the crankshaft position sensor so um that, uh, that code is not showing right now. I don't know why. Sometimes it just clears itself up. You know, it's an intermittent problem, so it, it makes it sort of difficult. Um, but basically, I have a photo of that, uh, of that code popping, popping up, so it definitely did happen. And it's this code right here, uh, P0335. And it just has to do with the crankshaft position sensor. So here's some information from the service manual. Manual, if you want to take some screenshots, there. Uh, it's sort of helpful. It tells you what it does, how it works. Um, I'll just go through each of these pages. Again, you can just take a screenshot here. I'm not going to stop for very long. It shows how it's wired. Basically, all it does is it just picks up the. Uh, position of the crankshaft obviously and it just uses a magnetic field to do that just as the teeth go by the highs and the lows it just picks those up and tells the engine uh, computer what's going on this is a good one here this is this tells you the location so that's the worst part about this job is where it is it's literally in the one of the probably one of the worst spots it could ever be on an engine uh, it's behind the engine between the firewall and the engine right there and it is uh, very difficult to get to, but not impossible. And there's some stuff here, and then one more page. Yes, this is if you want to test the old one to see if there's anything wrong with it. Um, and then I got the new part here. It's a Napa aftermarket one. It doesn't actually look like uh, the, the old one, but it is the same. I did confirm that. And this can also be used as the camshaft position sensor if you want. So if you're looking at it and you're like, oh, they sent me the wrong one. Well, they didn't. It's, they're both the same and they, it does look different from the factory one. Um, okay, so let's get into it. First thing we have to do is remove this uh, air box here. It will make it a lot easier for accessing the location of it. I don't even know if I'll be able to show you this thing actually installed in the engine, but I'll try my best. It's that buried, okay? You can barely get your hands on it. Okay, so we'll take this hose clamp off right here. Get this right out of the way right at the engine. And this one. This connector. And I believe yeah, you gotta take this off. So just like you're changing your air filter, take this off. Okay, so we just gotta pop this tab out right here. There should be two, but one's missing. And this will come out of the way. And then Phillips screwdriver. I think there's just the one screw right here. So we'll take that out. Little 
hose on there. So take that out. <clears throat> okay, so the best way I can uh, sort of tell you how to get this out is by describing describing only where it is. So it's in the back of the engine like the picture I showed you shows. It's in this position. So the bolt is towards the right side of the vehicle, uh, passenger side if you've got the North American style vehicle. So it's in the engine like this, okay? In that orientation there. If you squeeze the clip, it'll, it'll come off just like any of the Nissan clips. So that's the way it's in the vehicle. There's the clip right there, I've already got it off. It's not too bad to get off, I mean, depending on how much corrosion and stuff, but there, there's the clip there. And it's on in, it's clipped on just like that. It's in that position there, that orientation. Obviously a lot deeper, but just like that. So it's got like this box side towards the driver's side, North American vehicle. Now to show you where it actually is, um, so if you look down in there, uh, okay, uh, it's going to be really hard to do this, but okay, see that shiny part down there? I can't even point to it. Right there, the tip of my finger. That's a uh, extension on a 10 millimeter socket. I'll pull it out, show you the length of it, but you can just see the tip of it, and it's in there at that angle. Let me grab it. So this is the socket that was on it, 10 millimeter. It's about uh, three, three inches long, three and a half inches long. And then you can get a normal, this ratchet style on the end, it's just a small one, quarter inch drive. And then you should be able to back the bolt out. And then the thing is sitting in there just by the friction on this washer. If there was a little bit of grease put on before the last person put it in, it should it should just pop out. If you can get some bent uh, needle nose in there, it'll pull straight out. So I'm gonna do that, there's no point filming it, it's just a bunch of me reaching down in the engine. Essentially though, if you put your knee on the battery with some type of padding and put your hand down between, between this hose and this, you can usually get around it. Sometimes you got to go around the back side of this hose, but that's the only way to reach it. You cannot get this from the bottom. Okay, this is the bolt. This is what you're dealing with. It's got two washers on it. 10 millimeter, like I said, and it's in there like that. That extension actually worked perfectly. It's the perfect length. I'll actually measure that. Um, in case you guys are wondering. So there you go right there. So you got a basically a one inch actual socket, quarter inch drive. And then we got one, two and a half inch, two and five eighths inch long quarter inch extension. And then the actual, we got here about three eighths thickness for the driver. That works perfectly. Okay, so there's the old one. Came out pretty easily. You can see the washers flattened out. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of grease to that so it goes in smooth and then some uh, anti-seize on that nut or bolt and then I'll put it back in, put the clip back on, reconnect everything and we should be good to go. So hopefully just with that information, this is a huge amount of information that you need to know to do this job is really the biggest thing. Um, other than that, uh, that should fix that code. Again, it could be something else, like that code could also mean the wiring from that sensor is, is messed up, but it's usually not the case, it's usually this thing. I think I changed this last time about seven years ago, so I don't know if, I mean, that's the general lifespan of these, but uh, this one's aftermarket, so maybe the aftermarket ones don't last as long as the original. So the original was about 10 years, aftermarket seven, and then we got this one. Thanks for watching.